Hey guys, Tony here back with the Q1 earnings results for Netflix. We talked about it before the market opened this morning. Netflix closed the day at $610. They beat on revenue. They beat on earnings. They beat expectations on subscriber growth. Yet, as you can see from the chart here, the stock plummeted in after hours, almost 5%. Closing after hours, trading at $581.00. How does this happen? Is this market manipulation? Let's go through the exact details in this video. This morning, there were three numbers I told you guys I was going to be watching from Netflix, their top line revenue, their earnings, and their subscriber growth. Three months ago, when they gave us the guidance of what to expect today, when earnings came out, they said, expect revenues to come in around $9.2 billion. Expect earnings per share to come in around $4.50 a share. And that is pretty much what Wall Street went with for their own expectations of what we were going to hear today. Netflix beat all of those numbers, 9.37 billion on top line revenue versus expectations of 9.2 billion earnings per share of five dollars and 28 cents versus expectations of four dollars and 49 cents and wall street had expected subscriber growth to be about five million new subscribers and it came in at 9 million new subscribers. They also gave us a forecast for next quarter Q2, 9.49 billion for revenue and earnings per share of $4.68. And that is kind of in line with what we were expecting, another great quarter anticipated for Netflix. So how do we explain the stock plummeting in after hours? Let's talk about it really quick. It was a one-two punch that sank Netflix in after hours though, and it has to do with the forecast. Because although they gave us a very good forecast for Q2, Q2 showing revenue growth of 16% in line with expectations. When it came to the full year 2024, they lowered expectations to 13 to 15% for the entire year. That implies that Q3 and Q4, they're expecting some slowdown. This morning, when we looked at the analyst forecast for the entire year of 2024, we talked about the earnings per share and the 45% expected growth and earnings per share. We looked at the revenue for the entire year. We didn't talk about the expectations for revenue growth over the entire year. Analysts had it at 16.79% revenue growth anticipated for 2024. What Netflix did was revise down that guidance to the 13 to 15% range. And that is what started the stock falling in after hours. Even though Q1, they beat every metric we were expecting. And even Q2 looks really good. The guidance from management that the rest of the year was going to only grow 13 to 15% was enough to send the stock down. And then we had punch number two. That second blow came from management reporting that starting in Q1 2025, they were no longer going to report subscriber numbers and investors are not happy with this news. Here's how management pitched this news. They said, look, we are focused on revenue. We're focused on operating margin and we're also developing new revenue streams like advertising and our extra member feature where you can share your membership with someone else. So memberships or subscriber count are just one component of Netflix growth. They go on to say that in addition, as they have evolved their pricing and plans from a single tier to multiple tiers with different price points, depending on the country, each incremental paid membership or subscriber has a very different business impact. So they want to wean investors off of focusing on that number and have them focus just on the financials. And positive news for investors, Netflix reported that they paid down 400 million of senior notes with cash on hand, and they repurchased 3.6 million shares for $2 billion. Gross debt is sitting at $14 billion, cash and cash equivalents at $7 billion. And they're forecasting for 2024 free cash flow of approximately $6 billion. While investors are expressing some dismay that management at Netflix has said that in one year they're going to stop reporting subscriber numbers, I think that the after hours price action today mostly had to do with that downward forecast in the revenue growth. Analysts had been thinking that that top line revenue growth was going to be 16.79% bringing in $39 billion for the year, and they have a earnings per share of $17.52 to go along with that top line revenue growth. When Netflix says, hey, we're revising down our forecast on top line revenue to 13 to 15%, well, that clearly is gonna impact 
the $39 billion expectation by at least a billion dollars. And so the earnings per share for the year likely will be revised downward as well by analysts. So is the bleeding over and after hours today? Did enough get taken off to account for that reduction? I don't think so. I think that there is more downward pressure likely to happen on Netflix price, and we'll see analysts updating their forecasts on earnings per share. Take special care to make sure you fully understand the ramifications of Netflix downward revision in their top line revenues before you think about jumping in on that 4.5% price drop after hours. Let me know your comments or questions down below. Thank you for watching this update on Netflix Q1 2024 earnings. I am Tony DeNaro and I will see you on the next video.